Okay, here we see a 1985 instrument panel. This is in for LCD repair. As we can see, we've got some cracking in the upper and lower corners of that center panel. It wasn't packed very well before it was shipped to us, and unfortunately, during, uh, during shipment, it cracked in the upper and lower corners of that center panel. This is fairly common if instrument panels are, are not packed with at least uh, two inches of bubble wrap or packing peanuts around them. So you definitely want to definitely want to take care because this is a not a cheap fix. Today we're going to talk about replacing an LCD with an aftermarket part. Uh, so we follow the usual disassembly procedures. You can see that in uh, other videos online. We've removed the bottom board. We've removed the color filter, and here we see the LCDs. The first thing I want to point out. The first thing I want to point out is that these rubber blocks have uh, two different sides. They'll have some molded in lettering on the side that should face up when you reinstall them. We can see that here, here. If we look at the other side of these rubber blocks, they're smooth, they're flat, and there's no lettering. That side always goes down. Here we're looking at the bottom side of each block. It's going to be flat. It's going to be smooth. You're going to see no lettering. If we look at the other side of the blocks, we'll see lettering on the speedometer and tachometer blocks. We'll see a step on the, the center LCD rubber blocks. Here we see the cracked factory LCD panel, and we see a replacement panel. I just wanted to show you the difference between these two. The factory panel has a, a paint mask on the back. It's, the graphics are actually painted into this black paint on the back. If we feel it, we can feel the difference. We can, we can feel the ridges in the paint. Here we see the back side of a replacement panel. The replacement panel for the center is going to have patches of polarizing film in five locations and otherwise it's smooth. We see absolutely no graphics paint on the back side of this panel at all. The graphics are actually built into the new panel. If you're trying to tell the difference between a replacement panel or a factory panel, this is how we tell. So the replacement panels ship with a protective film on both sides of the panel. In the case of the center LCD, we we'll want to peel the protective film off of each of these five pieces of polarizing film. I'm just catching that with a fingernail and peeling it away. We want to be very careful to take the clear protective film and remove it, but not to remove the thicker polarizing film. Okay. If one corner doesn't work, just try a different corner. Until you get them all. And again, on the front side of the panel, we want to peel the protective film this is removing the clear plastic film while leaving the gray polarizing film in place. When we reinstall the center panel, we're going to be very careful to move this metal clip to the side of the new panel when we put it in place. We want to be very careful not to set the new panel on any of the plastic blocks which index that panel we want to be very careful not to set it on top of this metal leaf spring. When it's absolutely flat against the housing, we will reinstall the rubber blocks that hold the panel in place. We'll make sure that the side with the step and the lettering faces up when we put those in place.
and that's all there is to replacing a panel.